Welcome back to my channel, everyone. I'm going today. I'm going to be showing y'all how to make strawberry, peach, and few sea moss. And today it's going to be a little different because I'm making two batches. It's going to be a strawberry batch, and then I'm making peach, and then I'm going to, you know, mix it all together. But what I have here is one ounce in each bowl, so I just weighed measured out one ounce of the sea moss so that's what you want to make sure that you do first and if you watch my other mango sea moss infused sea moss it'll show you maybe a little bit over but that's okay weigh out one ounce for each bowl and then once you do that we are going to pre-soak let this pre-soak get you some cinnamon sticks in here, I have cinnamon sticks. I have some a little cinnamon powder, and then I have some lime. So you wanna let that soak for up to 12 hours. I let it soak overnight. Mine's been soaking about eight hours now. I'm gonna let it soak a little bit more, and then I'll be back to show y'all part two of the strawberry and peach infused sea moss. All right, I'll be okay, right back. Okay, I am back. So. I have here some frozen strawberries and some frozen peaches. You can use fresh strawberries or fresh peaches with this recipe. I encourage everyone to stock up on berries and fresh fruits and stuff like that when it's in season and just freeze them, you know, get you some freezer bags like that and just kind of freeze your um, fruit and, you know, you can use it whenever you're ready. So, for the infusion, I'm going to put two tablespoons of spring water in each pot. That's what we're going to do now. We're going to put two tablespoons of spring water in each one, okay? And then we're going to put, we're going to add a pinch of kosher salt to it each one that's about a pinch pinch you can omit this if you like but i like to add like a pinch of cayenne pepper to mine you don't have to add this if you don't want it not so spicy just you just want a a little like a little sprinkle a little dash then we're going to add a little cinnamon like a teaspoon because it's a pinch of salt and a pinch of cayenne, not that much. And then a, a teaspoon of cinnamon at each one. And then you're going to put like a half, a, a teaspoon or half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of agave. Not that much. Okay. Then we're gonna let this come to a simmer and then I'll be back to show y'all how to do the infusions. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So what I have here is two mason jars and I have a stick blender. If you do not have a stick blender, you can use a little small blender, whatever blender you have on hand to do this part. But let your fruit simmer for about 10 minutes on low, very low heat. Let it simmer and all those flavors and those spices that we put in earlier to soak up in that fruit. And um, after that, you wanna blend, you're just gonna blend it up. I'm gonna get this blended and I'll be right back. Then we're gonna start making our infusions. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So we're gonna start preparing our sea moss. Our sea moss is all rinsed off. And you wanna get you some spring water, whatever good spring water you have on hand. And this is the bowls that the sea moss was soaking in. Now, this is the part I wanted to show you all. Um, how you can tell that your sea moss is pool grown. You will see, let me pour this in. 
you will see a lot of sand. You see that at the bottom? You don't see any sand, anything in there. You see that? You see a little teeny bit, but that's mostly cinnamon at the bottom because I put um, ground cinnamon and I put the cinnamon sticks. But you don't see all that sand. Let me um let me pour this one. Let's see. You see a little that brown stuff back there, that's cinnamon. But we don't see, we're looking for sand. Okay? So let me show you all. You see that? That's cinnamon. You don't see all that sand. And if you see a lot of sand and all that stuff at the bottom, that is pool grown sea moss. I'll leave a link where y'all can get some really good sea moss. And that right there is ground cinnamon. I put ground cinnamon in there, lime. You see that? It's no, it's no sand. Pool grown sea moss, they normally always have a whole bunch of sand. So I'm gonna get this out the way and then we're gonna start preparing our sea moss. Okay, I'll okay, I'm back. back. We're gonna put two cups of water. I have four cups of water here. We're gonna put two cups of water in each pot because I'm making two. Okay. Spring water, make sure it's spring water. Okay, two cups over here and two cups over here. I may put another cup. Let's see. Okay, we're going to weigh it, make sure we have the... Now, you see that? When you start out weighing it, it weighs only like one ounce. But once you soak it, you see how much that weighs? That comes out to like, that's four ounces, 4.1 ounces. And we're going to put that up over here. Okay, now let's get some more. Okay, let's see how much this way. That one is 4.1. Then we still have a little bit more over here. That one we're going to put over here. And then we just put a little bit more over here, a little bit more over here. So this is how much you get out of one ounce because when I started out, it was one ounce, but once you soak it, it um, it's a you see it came to four ounces. So what I'm gonna do is turn this on very low heat, very low. If you want to skip this step, you can. Whatever your preference. Some people don't like to um do this step, and that's perfectly fine. But this is the way I do mine. And we're going to let this come to a light. It's not going to, you don't let it boil. When, once it starts to lightly simmer, I'll be back to show you how you're supposed to let the sea moss get. You're not supposed to let it boil. Okay? I'll be right okay, back. Okay, I'm back. And I've added two and a half cups of water in each one. Okay. Now, once this comes to a light simmer, I'll be back to show y'all how your sea moss is supposed to look when you're doing this step. If you're going to do this step, you just follow along, and I'll come back to show you how it's supposed to be. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So this is how you want to let your sea moss get. You don't. That was about a good three to five minutes and you just put it on low heat and it'll it'll this is how it'll turn out it's gonna it's gonna kind of melt it melts and let's see this one this one is almost it's getting there but it's not boiling you see that you just want to let this sea moss melt you can skip this step if you don't want to do this like i said but this is the way that i do it Okay, so I'm going to let my sea moss cool off, okay, turn the fire off, 
turn everything off and we're gonna i'm gonna pull it off of the put it in the back and i'm gonna let this cool off and i let this cool off for about 15 20 minutes and i'll be right back okay i am back our sea moss is cooled down and you're gonna put you're gonna once your sea moss cools off you're gonna pour the entire thing inside the blender okay so we're gonna do the strawberry infused sea moss first and then we'll do the peach okay so we're gonna add this in here make sure you get all of it okay and then I'm gonna pour all of this strawberry infusion in here okay and then I'm gonna add one cup of water just to start off one cup okay we're gonna blend this get this all blended and I'll be right back okay that is it's finished blending now I'm gonna get this into a jug and we're gonna do the peach infusion and I'll be right back okay I'm back now for the peach infusion Okay, and here's our peach infusion. We're gonna pour that in. It's nice and cooled. Let's see if I can get some more out of here. Yep. I'm just going to add a, a half a cup of water to this because this one was, um, I added the water when I was warming it. Okay, so let's get this blended. Okay, I'm going to finish blending this and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Everything is done. Everything is jarred up. Right here, we have a mixture of peach and strawberry infused sea moss. And then we have a peach by itself. And then we have strawberry. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye-bye.